Okay, so for your very first lab, you're using Excel. And part of what the lab lays out is kind of a refresher from last quarter and a little bit of a glimmer of what's to come. And this process is laid out and you need it for your Excel sheet that you need to make uh, before next week. So I just wanted to go through this process real quick. Um, we'll see it again in lecture, but just so you have some idea of what you're doing. Because here's a hint. If you just try to grab the numbers off the pre-lab and then go to answer questions later on and you don't understand what you're doing, it can lead to a loss of points. So let's not do that. All right. So it just reminds you that we did a bleach analysis lab in 122 if you were at Western. And we used this process to determine a mole-to-mole -mole ratio for potassium iodate and sodium thiosulfate. And if you remember, when dealing with net ionic equations, I know how much fun so many of you think these are, uh, our spectator ions are not included. But the mole-to-mole -mole ratio is the same. So you're given uh, the molarity of the potassium iodate, I think. I'm looking at my sheet real quick. Yes, this is the one that you're given. So you ha this is your known, and you have a known volume there and you're going to determine the amount of moles or the molarity of the sodium thiosulfate using this process. <clears throat> so what we want to do is create a, a roadmap relating each of our components to get to what we finally do want. So what we want at the end here is information about this guy, and what we're given is information about this guy. So the trick with this is just to look to see what has what's in common with this side of the equation to this side of the equation and working our way down to here. So then we got to kind of go from each side to get to what we finally want. And then let me show you what I mean by that. So we have our sodium or potassium iodate <coughs> ion, or so the iodate ion, and we look to what we get out of there and we get our iodine and our water. And down here we have iodine and an iodine um, ion. So this guy doesn't appear over here, therefore we're going to go to the I3 and we come down here and sure, sure enough we have a relationship between our iodate and our uh, sodium thiosulfate, or thiosulfate, excuse me. So let's see how that looks. So it just begins with our mole to mole ratio, so we have one mole or thios, or sorry, potassium iodate of IO3 ion, and that goes to, we wanted to go to our iodine, goes to three moles of iodine, or I2, and now iodine is going to go to our iodate, or iodide, and try iodide, sorry about that. So one mole of I2 on this side to one mole of our iodate, triiodide, of I3 minus. Now we come over here, we have one mole of I3 minus to two moles of our thiosulfate. Two moles S2O3 two, oh, two minus. And the trick with this to know if you've done it right is to check to see if everything cancels out. So we have our moles of I2 cancel out, our moles of I3 cancel out, and we're left with a ratio of a moles to moles for our um, iodate to our thiosulfate, which is what we want because we need to predict how many moles we're going to have. So our final ratio ends up being one mole of iodate, IO3 minus, Two, three times two, six moles of thiosulfate. Cool. So now, a brief reminder. Um, I don't remember if in this lab you're given uh, actual molarity. So bear with me. I'm going to make some up. So we're, we know we start with a certain volume and a certain molarity of, of our uh, potassium iodate. So I'm just going to call it 0.5 molar because I can. 0.500 molar 
IO3 minus. And we want to know how many moles do we predict given the volume that we've used of our potassium iodate, uh, how many moles do we think we'll get for our th sodium thiosulfate? So let me write this out as 0.0, oops, sorry about that, changed my mind, 0 0.500 moles of IO3 in 1,000 milliliters of IO3. Now, I just did this step because I just choose not to do the conversion. If you want, you can most certainly start here so you never forget that it is two liters, not milliliters. So you can do this to one liter and then do one liter per 1,000 milliliters. If that's more comfortable, then go with it. <clears throat> okay, so this I'm going to say we used... Uh, Let's call it 10 milliliters. Now I have moles of this. My volumes cancel out. I can use my mole to mole ratio. And it is the one mole IO3. It's got to go on the bottom so they cancel out. Boom, boom. To six moles of S2. So three, two minus. Boom. And that final answer will give us how many moles of the thiosulfate that we expect to get from this particular experiment. So there you have it. So now I'm going to take this information and we are going to build on that in the next video, which is building the most prized possession, the Excel spreadsheet that so many people love and adore.